Tyrone stopped and said, well, that's a lot of money. Tyrone said with an offer like that I have to accept now let's shake on it. Lewis went to shake Tyrone's hand and Tyrone grabbed him and backhanded Lewis and then threw him on the bed. Tyrone said to Lewis you think daddy's money can pay you out of being turned out in prison. This is prison and money means nothing in here when it comes to booty. Money will buy you anything else but will never buy yourself out of getting your booty clapped and that's when Tyrone put Lewis's legs behind his head and started clapping his cheeks. As Lewis was getting his cheeks clapped he couldn't believe what was happening. Tyrone was pounding his cheeks and left a big load of cream pie in Lewis's booty. After Tyrone had finished Lewis went up onto his top bunk bed crying as he struggled to put together what just happened. Lewis couldn't believe he just got turned out in prison. He thought to himself why didn't anyone tell me this stuff happens in the UK. Lewis just thought the only thing that happens in the UK are fights but he never expected booty bandits. Lewis slept for the entire day and missed lunch and dinner. He was struggling to get into grips that he had just been turned out in prison. The next day the guards shout breakfast. Breakfast as the cell doors opened. Lewis didn't want to go but Tyrone insisted he went with him as his girlfriend. Tyrone said I can't leave you in the cell by yourself because another inmate will come in the cell and bust your cheeks while I'm gone. You are my woman and I can't have other inmates busting your cheeks too. During breakfast Tyrone sat with the black guys and Lewis sat next to him. One of Tyrone's friends had another white boy sitting next to him. The other white boy had his head down the entire time. Lewis knew the other white boy had also been turned out by Tyrone's friend. After breakfast Tyrone and Lewis went back to their cell. Once in the cell Tyrone got on his bunk, took his trousers off and said Lewis come over here and put my things in your mouth. I won't ask twice. Lewis had no choice but to do it. Lewis noticed the smell of Tyrone's tings as he had not washed it off after clapping Lewis's cheeks but Lewis just had to do it anyway as he didn't want to make Tyrone angry. After Lewis did it for 30 seconds Tyrone said you are a natural Lewis. That feels so good now you can sit on it until I cream pie you. Lewis sat on Tyrone's tings and bounced up and down. Until Tyrone cream pied him, Lewis could not believe this was going to be his new life for the next 15 years. Lewis thought to himself, if only I had just been good I wouldn't be in this situation right now as tears came down his face.